my name is Jalen. I am 25 years old and I am an RN. Today's video will consist of how I became a nurse and what path that I took to get here. So make sure you guys watch the whole video, make sure you like, you comment, and let's get started. So to start off, I graduated high school at the age of 17 in 2013. Fall 2013, I attended Cal State LA. So I was there working on my undergraduate. I was working, you know, doing my math, my English, my sciences, and I was working to join the program at Cal State LA. Um, unfortunately, I didn't because every quarter, back then it was a quarter system, every quarter you would have to meet with the nursing counselor or director, I don't know what she was, I can't remember. My first year of college, I just moved out. I wasn't doing the best. I think I got like a C in one of my math classes and then I totally bombed a history class. I got a D in that. So I met with her and she was pretty much like, well, based on your current GPA, I don't think that you will make it in our nursing program. You have to have a 2.8 or higher and if you don't have a great GPA, then you need to pass um, the exam to get into the nursing program. And she was just being really negative and not helping and not counseling, which was her job, right? So I was just like, you know what? Like it really discouraged me. And I was like, you know what? Forget Cal State LA. I then went to Pasadena City College. At that point, I've already did three years at Cal State LA and um, I had a couple more classes to go. So I transferred to Pasadena. And I said, okay, I'll finish up my um, undergraduate at Pasadena City College, and then I will apply to their nursing program. <laughs> apply to multiple schools at once, so don't just apply to one and then wait. Apply to one and then wait. <laughs> I wish I did this from the beginning because a community college is way cheaper than a university. At a university, um, I have no loans, mind you. My mom was paying $2,000, a little bit over $2,000, every quarter for my school. It was really expensive and I feel bad. I should have just went to community college from the beginning, but I did not know. While I was at Pasadena City College and I was working on my undergraduate, I was working at the mall at the time. I was working at Santa Anita Mall. I started off at Hollister. I was there for a little bit and then I moved my way to a shoe store called Sheep and then I got fired. <laughs> So after I got fired from Chic, I was like devastated and I was like, I need to do something. I remember going to visit my aunt at the hospital and there was something called a nursing assistant. And I was like, what is this? I looked into it pretty much, you know, you assist your LVNs, your RNs. And I was like, oh my God, this is up my field. This is what I want to do. I want to start to know what the nursing field is like. So I was looking around for, um, CNA courses, I found one at Citrus Community College. It was very inexpensive. I think the whole program was between $1,500 and $2,000, and it was about a three month course. After I got my CNA, I then, mind you, I was still doing my regular courses at Pasadena City College. Then I worked as a CNA for one year at USC for Dugo Hills Hospital. I worked full time as a CNA and a float CNA, which means I went to all the floors. I went to ER, I went to med surge, I went to telemetry, I went to OR. It was the best experience and really it taught me as a CNA a lot and that I really wanted to do nursing. I made about $13 an hour. After I worked for a year at USC Verdugo Hills, it was time for me to apply to LVN school. I applied at PCC for the LVN program and I got in on my first try, which is amazing. I did LVN school for one year and that was in 2017. As I was, you know, in LVN school, I was still working as a CNA. After I graduated LVN, um, I worked as an LVN for a home health agency which was probably the best thing ever. I did not want to work in a skilled nursing facility because I just, it, that's a lot of work. And I was going to go do the LVN to RN bridge program and I couldn't work at a sniff and study. And I was making, this was in 2017 to 2018, 
I was making as an LVN 30 to $35 an hour or per visit. So I started off at $30 for my first year. My second year I got bumped up and I was able to make $35. This was amazing. The most money I've ever made as an LVN. And quick tip, I literally tell all LVNs to do home health. Especially if you're gonna go back to school because it gives you the time and you make your own schedule, which is amazing. Then it was time for me I applied um, to PCC's LVN to RN bridge program. I got in right away. If you did good in LVN school and you wanna do a bridge program at that same school and the teachers like you and you didn't get in trouble, you honestly are going to get into the bridge program. So that was about three months, the bridge program. It kind of started to move you at, um, as an LVN to RN and what to expect in that, la in that year of nursing school for your RN. I did my bridge program and then I started my RN program at PCC. Now I did my RN program from June 2018 to June 2019. Pasadena City College, I highly recommend it. It was super hard, but super worth it. Now my LVN program cost me about, I want to say $1,800 to $2,000 for that year program. That's your books, your uniforms, um, your clinical uniforms, your school uniforms, your tuition. The RN program, which is um, I did for a year, cost me about, I wanna say roughly between $1,200 and $1,500. I still had my old uniform from LVN that I used. I just needed new clinical uniforms, books, tuition, you, your nursing graduation pin, um, stuff like that. So that whole program, very inexpensive. I didn't have to take out any loans, gratefully. Um, but if you go somewhere like West Coast University, you are going to be paying between sixty and $80,000, which is just crazy to me. Like, if you're not going to school to be a doctor, why are you paying that much? So if you, your grades are good, you have all your prereqs, community college honestly is the way to go. I look at it as either you wanna to go to community to save money, it might take you a little longer, or you're gonna to go to, let's say, West Coast University, you'll get done a little faster, but then you're gonna be 60 to $80,000 in debt, which you're gonna be working for almost half or the rest of your life to pay off. So I graduated my nursing program as an RN in June 2019. And now I'm coming up on my two year mark as being an RN coming up June 2021. My first job as an RN was home health once again. I loved it so much and I was already in a home health agency so I just was able to move up very quickly. I was getting paid starting at $65 a visit or per hour. Now, there's two ways you get paid at a home health agency. You have your regular visits and then you have your start of cares. Your start of cares is only an RN can do because you have to make your initial assessment, right? So for the regular visits, I was getting $65 per patient. For all the start of cares that I was doing, I was getting $105. My friends at a hospital right now, I have some numbers for you guys because I was asking them, I was like, hey, like they're at hospitals, I'm not yet. Said, what's a new grad getting right now? One, and this, the pay range pretty much is between $31 an hour to $41 an hour. Now this $10 difference depends if you work days or nights and what hospital you are at. If you're at a smaller community hospital in not the best neighborhood or not the best city, sadly, you will be getting about $31, $33 an hour. After I was done with home health, I was um, looking to apply to hospitals. When I was on this hospital hunt, I was applying everywhere, right? Each interview that I did, I was, you know, everyone was happy with me. And I was about to take this job at a hospital, it was a community hospital, 
and I was going to get about $40 an hour and I was going to do the day shift and I was going to do ER. Sounds amazing, right? There was this other job that came up that I applied for and the pay was literally double. Um, and I was like, whoa, like let me apply there. The only reason why the pay is double in this time right now is because the COVID pandemic. There is a high need for nurses and pretty much if you're a new grad nurse right now or if you want to get back into the hospital or anywhere, there are so many jobs and there's so many routes you can take as a nurse right now and they are literally hiring like no tomorrow. I applied for this certain job and I got it. So I was about to make $40 an hour in a hospital, but due to COVID and the dire need for nurses, and I, yes, let me put this in here, I am working with COVID patients. What? I am working with COVID patients. I'm gowned up, full PPE, face mask, N95, full suit, gloves, the whole nine, and I'm working face to face with COVID patients, and I am swabbing COVID patients as well. So this is why my pay is very high because technically I am a crisis nurse. I am not giving you guys the name of my workplace yet. No, it's not a hospital. Your minds are literally are probably going to be blown when I tell you where I actually work. Probably in the next couple of videos, I am going to do a video on where I work, if I like it, what my risks are. It's really hard to film this setting and once I put this video out, you guys will know why. So stay tuned for that, but I'm gonna try my best to make the video about my current job and my current position soon. Main thing I missed, I am still in school. I am working towards my bachelor's. When you graduate from a community college, you get your associates in nursing, right? Your ADN. My bachelor's is a one year program. It is online and I'm going to Grand Canyon University, which is in Arizona. I do not have any clinicals. Since I'm already a nurse, I don't have any clinicals. It's just all online courses. I will be graduating this coming up year in about four to five months. So I'm so excited. Grand Canyon University, it's such a great program. Very easy. You just have to be organized and make sure you stay on top of your work. Um, I want to say this program is going to cost me about twenty to twenty-two thousand dollars. Yes, I did take out a loan for my bachelor's program, but I am starting to already pay it. Technically, you don't have to pay loans until you graduate. But since I'm working as a nurse right now and I'm making a decent amount of money. I have made the choice to get on my loans and start paying little by little. Everyone is like, oh, I want to just hop right into the RN program. I don't want to be an LVN. I want to be an RN. Look, the RN program is so congest congested because everyone and their mom wants to just be an RN. They don't want to start from the bottom. If you do an LVN to RN bridge program, you don't even have to work as an LVN. You can just get your LVN really quick, do the bridge program for three months, and then jump right into RN. It's like a little back way of getting your RN degree way faster. Apply to LVN and make sure that school has an LVN to RN bridge program. It will go by so much faster. You learn exactly the same thing. As an RN, you also need to have your certifications. I have my BLS, which is basic life support. I have my ACLS, which is advanced cardiac life support. And I have my PALS, which is my pediatric advanced life support. As an RN um, to work at a hospital or anywhere, they just want you to have your BLS. But you know what? Strive harder, strive farther, and go get your ACLS and PALS as an RN. It's really worth it. And I did all of mine at the American Red Cross. So what are my plans and what am I gonna do with my RN degree? First, I'm gonna finish my bachelor's program. I will be done this summer. Once I'm done with my bachelor's, I will probably go back to a hospital and work ER, that's my goal. While I work ER, I believe I might take a travel assignment as a travel nurse because Felipe, my boyfriend, is in the military and wherever he gets stationed at the end of this year, I am looking to take a travel assignment to that specific state and work in ER. Also, I will be getting 
my license as um, to be an aesthetic nurse, which means I can do injections, I can do Botox, I can do fillers. That's my route that I took for nursing. I hope this helps you guys and kind of gives you a hint of how much everything costs and how much I got paid. If you have any questions, feel free to message me on my Instagram, DM me, or you can leave some comments down below and I will do my best to answer them. So stay tuned and make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll catch you next week with another video. Bye.